It's that time of the week, Kagurabachi Sundays are here with another banger chapter. My glorious King Chihiro continues to move mountains. Some of you might be surprised that I'm dropping another Kagurabachi video because the last one flopped, but just like Asa from Black Clover, I'm a stubborn person, so I will not give up making Kagurabachi content on this channel. Plus, the recent JJK chapter didn't really move me with anything I wanted to make a video on, so I just need to replace a slot for content this week. Also, in my community post, I said the main reason for not dropping a JJK video this week was because the video was going to be around three minutes but here i am dropping a video that's probably going to run for like three minutes at the time of me recording this fraudulent local moment i know but the plan was to release a one piece video i had planned today but i realized that i wanted to make that video much longer so that's going to be pushed back to next week i'm letting it cook trust me plus i ate some food today and my stomach started making rice crispy noises i've been cooked so just just trust me i'll make it up to y'all there's something being prepared but today was just like oh <laughs> Nah, it's not it cooked. But before I start getting into my thoughts about the chapter, I need to spend some time glazing the color page because wow. The color pages in Kagurabachi are already great this early on. I know in a year the art in this series is going to be cracked and the title goes crazy too. Night of Darkness or in other translations, the chapter is titled The Dark Knight, an obvious Batman reference. In the author's comment of chapter 8, Takaru talked about how he walks around at night listening to the soundtrack of the Batman. This man has good taste because that soundtrack was elite and I I really hope that if this series gets an anime later down the line, that the adaptation takes inspiration from that movie, but enough glazing onto the chapter. The chapter is mostly about the new character, Hakurai Sazanami, who seems to be like he's going to be Chihiro's sidekick, and they're pretty funny so far with their interactions with Chihiro, plus the first couple of panels of the chapter. Like at first I thought the drink was leaving bro's mouth because of some AOE effect from the lightning, but it's really just because he zoned out like from deep thought, which is pretty hilarious. And it's also nice to see that Chihiro's actions are motivating others to seek justice in their own way so the whole actions inspires other theme in the series is still being kept intact which i like and hakurai is also a sorcerer but they're trash so i'm sensing that this is going to be the series first potential man he's already getting into the maharaga style pose so megumi your chain is going to be snatched soon and the best part of this chapter is just seeing chihiro appear during this really cool sequence the second people see a goldfish they already know that they're instantly cooked i love that and then the shot of chihiro standing there activating kuro he really is batman every time chihiro is on the panel i start glazing y'all might be going i think he likes shihiro guys and you would be correct because the aura this man contains on every panel is nasty my my chest is pounding i'm i'm, I'm feeling the heat i'm feeling the fever i'm just like shihiro show me who you are every time because he's him when hakurai said i need a samurai and he's just sitting there glazing over chihiro i was like for the first time in this series i can relate to a character because i'm moving like idol fans do with chihiro i got the headband and everything the chihiro church continues to prosper every single single week. Also, as foreshadowed, we get further confirmation that Shoujo really was just a puppet in the grand scheme of things, and we learn that the Sazanami clan are the main clan of the black market that will be operating the auction of the Shinoichi blade. So the plan is to finish everything before the auction actually starts. It reminds me of that beginning arc of Tokyo Gori. The rest of the chapter is just Hakurai tweaking out with comedic moments until Chihiro realizes that he might rival Sukuna in convenience, as he's found the exact person he's been looking for, with Hakurai being a Sazanami and his entire family being killed off. I suspect that there's some civil war going on with the clan or they really did just get wiped out except for him. Either way, I think this entire auction is just a trap being set in to lure Chihiro for some greater cause. So I'll just sit back and observe to see what Takaru is cooking. The auction arc in Kagurabachi is setting up to be pretty hype and the manga is selling like crazy, meaning the axe allegations have been beaten. Kagurabachi is going to be the next big thing. I can sense it now and I will be there every week for more Chihiro hero greatness and if you're rocking with the kagura bachi content make sure to spam that like button the church of chihiro is looking for more followers also thanks to the hard work of my homie the discord server is no longer looking budded it's looking good so join that and be a part of the community and push your own agendas the discord link is in the description of all my videos and i'll be streaming again very soon so be on the lookout for that and if you're someone that enjoys anime content that keeps it real consider subscribing so when i hit 10k you can brag about being a day one. I gotta get back in the kitchen to cook. Peace.